Um, now what we're going to do is the same thing. Now what's interesting about division, division is different. So we're going to like turn the page. Okay, These are kind of grouped together. Division is different. If you guys look at the domain here, these are all lines. Cool. Linear functions. Awesome. So that means the domain's all real numbers. But then we think about what division does. Division adds a different constraint. f divided by g of x basically means f of x divided by g of x. Well, that's not very cool because now I'm putting a function that was all real numbers in the denominator. Now I have a new constraint. Right? You can't equal, the denominator can't equal 0. So let's see what that looks like. 3x minus 1 divided by 1 half x plus 1. All numbers don't work here, right? So we have to go ahead and take our denominator. So anyways, division. That's our division. There's not really not much we can do with that. OK, like that's simplified. Good. But the idea is, what's the domain? So we domain, oh, we have a number under radical. 1 half x plus 1 um, cannot equal 0. Or let's set it equal to 0. Forget the 1 on 1 half. Subtract 1. 1 half x equals negative 1. Mm, how do you undo multiplying by 1 half? You could divide by 1 half, which is the same thing as not talking to your neighbor, but dividing by 1 half is the same thing as multiplying, multiplying by, by the reciprocal. reciprocal. Right? What's the reciprocal of 1 half? 2. x equals negative 2. And some of you probably already knew that by looking at it. Like, oh, negative 2 is the answer that makes sense, right? So the domain is all real numbers except for negative 2. Do you guys need me to graph it, or can we write the domain? Anybody for graphing it? Yeah? Nobody? Nobody? Yeah? You want to graph it? No, no. Oh, nobody wants to see the graph? Yeah? Yeah. No, no. Well, I'm saying, do you want me to show the graph? So, yes, yes. Wait. <laughs> OK. So the graph, all real numbers except for negative 2. Could look like that. Right? All real numbers except for negative 2. So, I mean, the domain. What? Why is it negative 2? No. Yeah, why isn't it negative 1? Because negative 1 times 1 half plus 1 is negative 1 half. It doesn't get 0. Negative 2 is the only number that makes the denominator equal to 0. So now the domain is, let's do the domain over here. That's negative infinity to negative 2. Then negative 2 to infinity. You can leave it like that, or you can throw a little union symbol in there. Okay. Do not let notation be your guy's crutch. <laughs> 